Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, okay, we're back with the gameplay for uh, for Musha with Love for the Xbox. Uh, this one's requested by Xfile Twenty Seven Eight, good friend of mine. Hello, Marcus. Right, okay, let's crack on. I've done a couple of levels last night. Um, I did, however, find a fault with the game for some reason. No matter how much ammunition I collected from my machine gun, it wouldn't let me pick the machine gun. It kept saying I hadn't got enough ammo, which was really random. But uh, hopefully, it's going to work fine today. It's bloody better anyway. And so I'm only 16%, you know, I haven't done a lot. Um, so far, so good. It's pretty decent. Uh, it's weird playing third person. I'm so used to playing Bond games first person now, it just feels really odd. But uh, it's, it's a not really nice looking game. Welcome to Station T, James, on the Constantinople. As you can see, the Sean Connery is fantastic, such a great line. And by the way, the cover system is absolutely shit, it doesn't work properly. You are if you go to a wall, but you try and cover on a car or something, it just won't have none of it. Yes, I'm going in. Right, here we go. Look at that, the graphics are excellent. What have we got there? I'm just getting to stand up, feels like a twat. It's got a really strange control method as well. Um, you use the left trigger to target, like automatic target. But when you do that, you then have to press, um, what's it, X to get. Um, free aim and you get like a, a little yellow dot which you aim at their heads it's really strange I mean it's made by EA and it says it already because they haven't got a clue what they're doing and it constantly does this shit and all telling you how to do stuff you know and I'm a couple of levels in here I think I know how to do the controls by now right okay there's a hole up there got to uh, get my helicopter hit the right button so I've got a, a Q gadget helicopter here, so I've got to fly that in. And uh, that steel door there, it's got a lock on it, a security lock, so I have to go in through here. And I've got to blow the security lock. Just get the bloody camera right with the output. Okay, so the graphics are absolutely fantastic. I've really got to give them credit, they did a great job on the graphics. And uh, especially the Sean Connery lock lightness is absolutely excellent. There we go, guys. Uh, let's just drop this down here. No, he did this last night. The bloody thing wouldn't move. There we go. See that flashing red there? That's the security lock. So, let's just go over here. Boom! There we go. I can now open the door and kill the enemies. Or get shot in the face because the poxy game ain't working right. See, you can't take cover either. Look, you, I'm pressing the button, you won't take cover. He only takes cover on walls, which is really shit. Yeah, and you press X, and you get the yellow dot there. And you remember I couldn't shoot him in the face, which apparently does not kill him. Which, this is silly, I just shot him three times in the face, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I don't know who designed this game, but there's complete retards, man, it's just, <laughs> it's just stupid. But it is a fun game, I don't care, it's still great. It's just the control methods are really shit, and then really fought it for it. And so every time you go through a door, the camera comes behind your head. And so consequently, as you just saw, I get shot in the face, which is really annoying. It's sort of like a mini cinematic every time you walk through a door, as you can see. Right, this guy has got a radio. So you shoot the radio, it stops him uh, calling for help. Oh yeah, I've got cover for him. Oh shit, there he is. Oh, that'll do, just chilling. Right, where's the other guy? Right, blow up there, so shoot him in the face. Right, that's a lot. I, mean, I would recommend picking this up just because it's fun. Uh, and it's more of a run and gun than a cover shooter. It ain't as good as that Uncharted or anything. But uh, it's a cracking run and gun game. And uh, just because he looks so good, the old Sean Connery like it, it's well worth picking up. Got cracking music and all. I think this game came out near the end of the Xbox's life, I'm not sure, but it would explain why the graphics look so good on it. Alright, SMG range, but what have we got? So, oh, yeah, I've got a shotgun and oh, no, I can't have that. 
I've already got no ammunition on the game, just won't let me have it. I love that. I shoot the one guy, and the other guy just stands there and ignores the fact that I've just killed his mate. What a prat. Okay, bomb disarmament. Slow me out, gun. Basically, you just hold the A button down and it disarms it. It's not particularly technical. One of five. No, oh, I missed that one last night, I didn't know it was there. Cause I, just, cause I, got, but I think I got the other four last night and I couldn't work out where that one was. See if we can do this properly. I don't like it, but you never know. Oh shit, he got in the way. Come on. Ah, oh, I'm on the pistol now, shit. It automatically changes your weapon as well. There you go, in the face. Let's go and headshot this pain in the arse here. Oh Christ. Come on. I hate that, I losing my aim, it's really annoying. Lot. Hang on. You can't roll between pillars even like a lot of cover shooters. Uh, Amazes me that you aren't in bullets that man can take when he ain't got a bulletproof vest on. Alright, let's do it, wanna. I'll shoot him from the hip. Have some of that. Hell. It's a nifty little gadgets in this game. I've got a new machine gun bullets. No. Oh, Christ. How annoying. So the lighting effects are fantastic, but I mean, to be fair, even on day one, the Xbox has always had good lighting effects and reflections. I mean, you know, to look at Halo and Dead or Alive for it. I wonder if I can blow that off with the helicopter. Bit over the top, but it might work. I'm sorry, Dan, is he going to work? I'm going to try it anyway. Oh, what do you know, it works? <laughs> I didn't think it would. Fantastic, oh, that's all it was here. Oh, what's this? Covert uniform used for undercover operations. Oh, hang on, let's see if I can pick, use this thing. Wrong button. What we got? Grey suit, covert. Let's see what we get. That's supposed to be covert. I thought you get an army uniform. I don't know, bloody covert. He just looks like he's going skydiving. Right, there we go. Light body armor, not proper body armor, that's crap. I don't think I should have repelled up here because I can't actually figure out how bloody I'm supposed to be going. I think I should have gone down the bottom. I'll have to see if I can repel back down or something. So I know I appear to be stuck up here. <laughs> Right. Where's this door lead? Yep. Communication room of sorts. Okay, go for the next door. Let me go, please. In the head. Have some of that. There's no bomb in this room or anything. No, it's just a hostage. Just blow shit up for the sake of it. Ah, have a door. Okay guys, well, I'm going to have to call it a day there because we're just coming up for our 10 minute break, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I hope that's give you a good taste of what the game's like. I mean, it is good fun. The controls are a bit shit, but if you can get past the shitty control method, then to be honest, you're going to love the game. You guys to accept that EA have got no bloody clue how to make a proper game, and then you'd be alright. But graphically, it looks fantastic, the music's awesome. Uh, Sean Connery, I'm just getting yeah, a good shot of him there. 
Sean Connery likeness is fantastic and it's just really good fun. So yeah, I'd highly recommend picking it up when it's dirt cheap. Uh, Jody from Mudbone is asking if you can get it on PS2. I'm assuming you probably can. Uh, so I'll have a look for that, mate, see if you can or not. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And uh, I'll be back with another video very soon.